Okay, in this tutorial, we're going to look at merging cells inside of a table. And this is probably one of the more complex things you'll do inside of a table. And so I'm going to get my table back to the way I started with it. So I'm going to delete this, these alignment properties on this table. And I'll bring this column. Um, well, I, I'll just leave that a little bit wider. That'll help to illustrate how this will work. So let's make go back here and refresh. So we've just got our basic table. We have the table header up here and we have these rows down here. So let's say that maybe I wanted to align three and six. What if I wanted to merge these two together so they were just one big cell? Now, in order to do that, we have to do what's called span, span the row. And there's two types of spans in tables. I can either do a row span or I can do a call span. Now, students will often get tripped up on the difference between these two. And I think initially everyone guesses the opposite of the way it actually is. Um, if I was going to merge cells three and cell six, I would ask you what type of merge would that be? Is that a row span or a call span? And students often get confused and they say, well, it's a call span because I'm in column three. But that's incorrect because I'm merging two rows together. So I'm merging row two and row three. So when I unite these two cells together, that's actually a row span because I'm spanning two separate rows. So make sure you kind of make that distinction there. So there's kind of a method I've come up with which I think helps um, merging these cells. And the first thing is, is you go to the cell you want to start the merge in. And it's always in my, what I suggest is it's the top cell or the leftmost cell. So you kind of work your way from top left down to bottom right. So in this case, cell three would merge in to cell six. So I come into the merging cell, which is cell three. And I come into that table data cell and I start with the span against, this is a row span. So I say row span equals, and then inside of here for the value for this attribute, it's the number of rows that this is going to span. In our case, it's going to be two because I'm spanning two rows. So three is gonna go into six. So you do the row span, and then the very important thing is you don't save and you don't refresh. If I was to do that, you can see the entire table breaks and it will be very difficult to track down where your errors are if you have a complex table. So don't do that. Instead, I'm gonna undo that and save and refresh. Instead, what you need to do is you need to add the row span like I just did, row span equals two. And then you find the cell that three merges into, which is in our case, six. And we're back here in our picture, three goes into six. You find six and delete it because it's no longer needed. Three is gonna merge into it. Then you save then you refresh, okay? And you can see now that is a complete merged cell. And that is a row span again. So let's say, well, what if I want cells one to merge into cell two? Now, what type of span that is? That's a call span because I'm spanning two columns. So I would start with the leftmost cell or the top. In this case, it's one. So I would go find one. One's right here come inside of the table data cell tag, and let's add a call span equals, and then it's the number of columns I'm trying to span. In this case, I wanna span columns one and columns two. So the number here is gonna be two. Now again, don't refresh because one goes into two, so you find cell two and delete it. So I come find cell two, and I delete it out of my code, save, then refresh. And you can see now cell one has merged into cell two. And that's pretty fancy. So um, that's the basics of merging rows and columns inside of tables. It can definitely get quite a bit more complex um, uh, for tables, but when you're building your HTML tables you in a, in a real life website, you probably won't have a whole lot of row spans and call spans. It's typically just a list of data with rows, um, like a CD playlist where you have title, artist, duration, and then just a whole bunch of the of the data in the table. And so that's the basics if you do need to merge cells in, in rows. Now, some, some programs will have automated systems to where you can just build tables visually like Dreamweaver and other text editors will let you just insert tables so you don't have to merge them and remember all those rules. That's the basics of it. Um, just to finish this off, let's say I decided at a later date I wanted cells one to merge all the way into cell three so that this merged all the way across. So we would come into cell one, 
And now that's no longer going to merge three, two columns. It's going to merge three columns and it's going to go all the way into cell three. Now the problem here is if I just come and delete cell three and save and refresh, I have this hole down here. I've broken that. And so what we need to do, I just undid that. I would need to fix cell three as well. And so in order to do this, it gets a little bit tricky because I need to add another column down here. So I would need to delete this out of the, the second row, coming down into the third row and add another column because it needs to have three columns. So I need to add one down there and call that one six, then save and refresh. And now that's back to its correct form. You're not allowed to have rows or columns with just these empty holes. It kind of will tend to break things. So that's the basis of the, the tables and merging rows and columns.